Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to render HTML elements to the DOM. So far you've learned that JSX is a convenient tool to write reusable HTML within JavaScript. With React we can render this JX, JSX directly to the HTML DOM using React's rendering API known as React DOM. React DOM offers a simple method to render React elements to the DOM, which looks like this. React DOM dot render, then component to render, and then target node. So you'll notice, you'll remember if you went back to the first, um, first section that we did on this, I described how they were doing that in the back end. Um, so it, it, we use tools like this, where the first argument is the React element. So this is the React element. Um, Oh, the, this is the, and then, or component that you want to render. So component that you want to render. And then, and the second argument is the DOM node that you want to render the com component to. So the DOM node, target node. As you would expect, React DOM dot render must be called after the JSX element declaration, just like how you must declare variables before using them. So what are they saying there? That, they mean that you can't write the React render up here above where you defined your constant. Because if you were to de define, if you were to do it up here, JSX, and then you've got your whatever target node. This actually won't work because target node's not defined. But um, what they're saying is that you need to um, call JSX after you declare the variable. It's not, not like this. That's the wrong way to do it. If you do it down here, we'll get a different one. Target node's not defined. But you see when I did it up here, uh, it probably said would say JSX is not defined. Okay, it didn't do that. But that's the idea. They, they want you to render the JSX down here. Uh, the code editor has a simple JSX component. Use react.render method to render this component to the page. You can pass defined JSX elements directly in as the first argument and use document.getElement by ID to select the DOM node to render them to. There is a div with an ID challenge node available for you to use. Make sure you don't change the JSX. Okay, so if I right click here and go for to inspect, if we look in to here, we're going to see body, and then here we've got ID of challenge node. Right now there's nothing in here. Um, yeah, right now there's nothing in this node. We could edit it, edit as HTML, we should say challenge node. So if we were to look, if we if we put put that in here, you'll see that it actually shows up. And so this is the challenge node. If there's stuff inside of here, um, if the if we write challenge node on the inside, we can see it. But then if we take out the text um, and we still have it, you'll see that the div is still here. But because there's nothing there, it doesn't show up. And so we're going to inject this JSX component into the interior of this challenge node div. Cool. And so how are we going to do that? We're going to do it, we're going to say um, react dom dot, so this is the react um, uh, an, um, overall variable, I guess, dom dot render, and then the component to render is this one. We're going to render JSX, and in here we're going to say um, document dot get element by ID, and then in the ID, we're going to set that equal to challenge node. Cool, and then we see that it renders to the DOM here. Um, one way to do, I would clean this up because I would set, I would say, um, we can say uh, let target node equal get element by ID, and then we put the challenge node in there. Um, Yeah, I like to stretch it out like that. And then we can put target node in here. This would also work. I'm not sure if this uh, breaks the way that the tests go, but okay. But it does work. So yeah, this is the better way to do it because then it makes it very clear. We're saying React render, what, we're, what are we gonna render? JSX, which is this guy, this, this JSX element. And where are we gonna render it to? The target node. And where's the target node? Oh, the target node is on the document and we're getting it by ID of challenge node. So now if we were to look up here, again, in the console, we could say document.get element by ID challenge node. If I put that into the console, then it's going to render out. It should be rendering that out. Get element by ID. Hmm, maybe JSX breaks that somehow. Interesting. But uh, that's basically how you get the uh, target node. 
Yeah, I, th I think maybe what happens if we inspect this challenge node? Yeah, that's interesting. It's here, but the console's not getting it. Perhaps because it's being rendered s client side. Hmm. No. Oh, it did work this time. Interesting. Whatever. But yeah, so now inside of the challenge node, we have the div, which is this starting div, right? And then we've got hello world p. And so what we're doing is rendering, we're using JavaScript to render JSX to the target node. And that's my long explanation for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.